Rivian, their stock took an 8% tumble after lowering its 2024 production forecast. In quarter three, Rivian produced 13,000 vehicles and delivered 10,000 to customers, both of which were a little short of analyst expectations. It's just, it's a challenge because they're not a profitable company yet. They're not making money on their vehicles yet. Boy, if you're Rivian, it's just at stakes to have your hands tied like that. Hi, this is David with EV World News, and I'm pleased to announce we we went out and hunted and recaptured Mike Herzog. He's back with us today. How's it going, Mike? I'm back, David. Been been out in the field for a while, but I've, I've returned to my my beautiful, spacious fluorescent light office. So we're going to talk a little bit about Rivian. Rivian, their stock took an eight percent tumble after lowering its 2024 production forecast from 57,000 vehicles to somewhere in the 47 to 49,000 vehicle range. This is still a lot of cars. It's still a lot. It's, did you say it went from 57 to like 47, something like that? Yeah. So it's, it's still, it's about a one-sixth drop almost. And the culprit is a supply chain disruption that's hitting its R1 vehicles and commercial vans pretty hard. In quarter three, Rivian produced 13,000 vehicles and delivered 10,000 to customers, both of which were a little short of analyst expectations. The EV maker is eyeing survival with the lower cost R2 and R3 models set for 2026. And to stay afloat, Rivian is leaning on its $5 billion partnership with Volkswagen. You know, as I've learned, as we've you know been working on EV world and things like that, is that Rivian is their largest shareholder is Amazon. And they're followed now by Volkswagen, and then it's followed by the Saudis. You know, it's interesting to see the all the Saudi oil money is backing, you know, Lucid and Rivian quite heavily. Do those, those Rivian numbers include their bands, their Amazon bands? Or is that- it does. So they've delivered somewhere between thirteen and 17,000 vans. I'm not sure the exact number right now, but the number that's been ordered is 100,000. And I don't think it's really a delay in production so much as, as you well know, when one of those facilities is trying to put in 200 charging stations for 200 vans, it is a bit of a nightmare for the utility company, right? Yeah, it's it's a project. It's it's a big project to, to figure out and get addressed and adjusted. So it's it's a big deal. Um, so it stinks they're hit by supply chain. Um, I, I was really thinking... You know, we had started to turn the corner on on some of that after after the COVID years and everything. And it's I don't know if they're getting hit by chips um, or you know raw materials or you know whatever whatever that might be in that space. But boy, if you're Rivian, it's just that stinks to have your hands tied like that. It's God, we were actually going to do it. You know, we had a chance of making it and going into oil. We can't do it. We don't. We don't have the materials. I've tried to find some more specific information about what's, you know, the missing piece in the supply chain, and they don't give, n- n- none of the articles I found give any real information on that particular to- topic. I, I don't know why I've got a, I got a soft spot or a sweet spot for Rivian. Um, that's, that's one of those I'd like, I'd like to see them do well, um, you know, in a space like this and, and kind of emerge at I like the look of their vehicles. I like what they're trying to do. I like how they're putting things out, but it's just like setback after setback with them. It feels like, you know, and then they, the Volkswagen from our news from earlier in this year, they're, they're doing something right. <laughs> what if Volkswagen is like, we like your technology. We like your, your control mechanisms and, and what that is. Well, they're sure, certainly going in the right direction. And it, it's just, it's a challenge because they're not a profitable company yet. They're not making money on their vehicles yet. They're getting closer. You know, the joke is always you can maybe you can make it up on volume if you're losing money on every vehicle. <laughs> but the truth is that's what it takes is eventually you have to be making enough that your all your sunk costs the, the into your manufacturing lines all get covered and you're moving ahead. Rivian takes a big step towards restarting the Georgia EV plant construction for the R2. They had uh, to pause construction and they had to get a, a federal loan to get a second manufacturing plant back on track. After revealing a smaller, more affordable R2 vehicle in March, they began building it in normal Illinois rather than its new Georgia plant as it initially had planned. CEO RJ Scaringe, in a move that would save Rivian over $2 billion 
while getting R2 on the market quicker. Rivian has repeatedly insisted it remains committed to the project as it expands production. Well, they have to. They've got a crazy amount of pre-orders for the damn thing. I think they're at like 100,000 pre-orders for the uh, R2. I mean, there, there's a lot of room there. Manufacturing, you know, what is it? Uh, you always hear Elon say it's easy to create prototypes. It's a whole other thing to be manufacturing. Financially supporting the Georgia project will ultimately bring 400,000 EVs to market. That's a big number. Yeah, I, I don't know what their, you know, what their deal with the supply yeah, chain yeah. issues, things like that. I guess, I guess you just never know. Supply chain, I mean, it's, I don't know, I, hopefully they got capital out of the Volkswagen deal. They did. Yeah, we're, we don't have the capital to build our Georgia plant, so we're going to have to build them somewhere else to start with, so we just don't completely fall flat on our faces. I believe they still have more than a year's operating revenue. We're not going anywhere. They're not on the cliff right now, but... no. No, but it's always one of those things where it just seems like it could, you know, fall apart. Something needs to uh, get a little bit, do a little bit better. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.